affordable rental housing. The program serves seniors, the handicapped, and low-income working people like first responders, teachers, and nurses. All 35 of our affordable housing communities in the state of West Virginia have been financed through the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. You see a lot of different reactions when you come into one of our properties. I've lived here just a little over a year. Very happy with it. You know that they have a, a safe, decent place to live. And you walk the halls and they're having Bible study or a Tupperware party or doing a puzzle together in the community space. It's very rewarding. I love everything about my apartment. <laughs> Before Pringle House, I lived in an old, cold house. Then I saw this being built, so I started inquiring about it, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> During site selection, we take into account the local amenities for the residents, whether it's grocery store, pharmacy, churches, schools, etc. The grocery store is just right across the street, and I use it as my pantry almost. I love the balcony. I will go out there and read or just sit in the sun and take in the view. Without an allocation of low-income housing tax credits from the West Virginia Housing Development Fund, a community like Pringle House would not be financially feasible. I think it's a good thing that the fund helps with projects like Pringle House. I'm very happy that the fund helps people like me to find safe and affordable housing. I think the fund is doing good things for the seniors.